Hello everyone, my name is Vikas and in this session we will talk about the Mist browser which is the most popular browser in the Ethereum blockchain as of today. So first of all, before we go for the installation and the other things, let's try to understand about what is the Mist browser. So I assume that you all of you have heard about the Ethereum clients like Git and the Parity. So Git is the official uh, Ethereum client to connect with the Ethereum blockchains. So you can use that client to connect with the mainnet blockchain or your testnet blockchain or you can create your own private blockchain as well. So Git also provide uh, the console utility which we can use to interact with the blockchain. We can create the accounts, we can uh, check the balance of the account, we can transfer the amount between the accounts and we can perform different operations. But that is through the command line. But Mist browsers runs top of that Git client and this gives us a user interface and we can perform almost same kind of operation which we use, which we do basically using the uh, Git console. So this is a UI which helps everyone to interact with the blockchain to create the accounts, to transfer the amounts, to this also help us to connect with the blockchain because in the background this is all Git only and you can also uh, start deploying the smart contract with the help of Mist browser. Okay, so let's go over that one one by one but before we go to anything we have to see uh, from where we can download. So this is the links which we have as of today in GitHub so I will just share this link uh, in the video also in the video description which you can just take and download. So as of today this is the current version which we have which is 0 0.11.1 and if you just go down here this is the installer for uh, which we will use in this one and but you have a separate installer for all the operating system. So you can choose as per your operating system. So what I have done I have done this missed installer 0.11.1. So I already done, done the download part from my side now. Uh, let me just uh, click on this one and let's see the installation phase. So once you click on this one, this will launch. Uh, the, this should launch the installer for you, so that you can install this Mist browser on your system. So I just click on this one. So this show. Okay, I will just say yes here. Now this will launch the installer for me. Yes. Now I see. I agree. Uh, so you can see this will start, this will create a folder under the program files, under the missed folder, I will say next. Then it is saying that select a location where the blockchain information will get stored. As we all aware that blockchain, when we use a Git client, it downloads all the blockchain to your system. Okay, so this is a folder which we are mentioning that, okay, my information will get stored in this folder. So I will just say install here. So now this will start extracting the files and this will install the Mist browser for you. And in the background, what happens in the background, this also install a Git, this also install a Remix IDE and that will show you in the UI portion. So this should be very quick. Uh, so the close button will be enabled when the uh, installation is completed. Yes, this is enabled now. So click close this window and then this will open uh, the sh shortcuts which you can also get on your desktop so you can just go over this uh, missed icon here the shortcut and just uh, open this one first time very first time uh, let me open it again in case this is not opening so first time when it open it try to search for the nodes the peers so that it can start interacting with them, it can start downloading the blockchain on your local system. So this is how it works basically. So let's see, uh, I will wait for it to open. Let me, I'm not sure why this is not opening. Let me try again one more time, maybe it's it will open now, hopefully. Mm. 
maybe let me check the processes uh, maybe this is showing running in the background I'm not sure why this is not showing in the UI yeah, I'm showing multiples oh that is strange Yes, I got many. One, two, three. Let me close few. Oh, we just need to see only one. Okay. So here, so this has directly opened this UI for me. But for you people, if you're doing it very first time, because I have installed this on my system and I have uh, uninstalled that one. But for you people, it may show a different window where it will show that, okay, it is trying to search for the peers and the nodes and it start downloading the content for you. And then you can also launch the application from your side. But as you can see here, this is the UI which you will get. So this has the Ethereum wallet where you can create the account by clicking on this add account. So you can create the account. The same thing which you used to do the get client, use the console. Same thing you can do through a nice UI here. You can click on this create account, match the password two time and that should create the account for you. Okay, then you have the option here under develop that okay. As you can see here, Ethereum node. This is using the get 1.8.11 version in the background to connect with your blockchain. So networks, we have three as of now, mainnet, uh, main network, Robster and Linksp. Right now we are connecting to the Robster here. Sync mode is a light mode right now. You can also do a full uh, mode, you can run a full mode, in the full mode it will download the full copy of the blockchain to your system which we don't want. So we have chosen the right option here. You can also enable a SOM, SOM is again uh, in the storage, distributed storage which we have uh, in the Ethereum ecosystem. Again it's up to you, you want to enable or not, let me disable for now. And then you have the option here to open the Remix IDE which you are aware that we used to develop the smart contract and the other thing is that you have a contracts option here which you can use to deploy and develop your smart contract and the watch option is to interacting with your smart contract so once you click on deploy uh, you can just choose the account from which account you want to use to deploy your uh, smart contract amount how much amount you want to spend on this one uh, you can write a smart contract here as required okay and then you can deploy you can have a button of deploy here so this is all the options which you get in the mist browser which you can use and uh, you can use just to deploy and then later watch for watch you can just mention the contract address contract name and the ABI here and just click on OK and it should give you uh, the it will show you the functions which you have in a smart contract and you can use that one. So this is the all option which you get in the Mist browser and this is how it looks like. Thank you.